PWCC is a great way to sell your sports cards. If you're looking for a way to support the Cajun Cardboard YouTube channel, consider using the promo code CAJUN, all caps, C-A-J-U-N, when you're selling your cards on the PWCC marketplace. Hey guys, Brian with Cajun Cardboard coming at you from the great state of Louisiana with another PWCC Weekly Auction. This is weekly auction number 78 and OMG. There are a lot of big time 86 Fleer PSA 10s. There are a couple of Jordan 90s inserts and refractors that broke all time records. I don't mean they're higher than the last comp. I mean they shattered all time records, including crazy bubble year of 2021, post last dance, post pandemic, uh, all time record type stuff. There's something going on. We saw it in the Golden Weekly uh, auction review with the Jordan stuff from last Friday. Again, we look at some of that stuff with skepticism. Some of these, let's just wait and make sure they're vetted. I have a, a little hint of information from the seller of these cards uh, that they were confirmed paid by the buyer. So uh, I, I don't know that 100%, um, but... Uh, I was told that the buyer was legitimate and those cards are getting paid. So uh, we'll let it all shake out. Again, as always, I don't vet every single one of these sales. So I'm just passing along information from comps. Stay tuned till the end because uh, some absolute whales at the top and they're all Jordan, which, uh, as you know, makes me giddy and happy. I've got to go quick. I've got videos to get out. Then I'm going on family vacation. I'm coming straight back and then I'm getting on a plane and flying to Chicago so I can see all of you fine folks. If you see me in Chicago, I will probably have a Cajun cardboard homage shirt on please come find me and shake my hand and introduce yourself because there's so many of you guys that have supported the channel from the jump i really want to make sure i get to see you guys uh when we get there in uh, rosemont uh i keep saying chicago but i guess it's a suburb i guess we'll figure it out i've never been to illinois so first time for cajun cajun visits illinois uh there's a thumbnail uh, first and foremost, we got an 86 Fleer, David Greenwood. Again, you're going to see a, a theme here. A lot of 86 Fleer with PWCC stickers. 750 for that one. Uh, we've got a WNBA card. Diana Taurasi, black gold, does 780. And then a Jordan Poole, serial number to 99, does 780. Uh, Doncic, silver prism. Remember that card? Yeah, that was a pretty popular card for about a two-year period. Ran wild. 780 bucks for a BGS 9.5 mixed gem. Now a Galactic Showstoppers, LeBron 810, a KD patch auto from Panini Noir. That's a one-of-one one white box. If you don't know what a white box or a black box is, go Google it. I don't want to waste time here. Uh, it's not the same as a true one-of-one. One. Uh, so... Uh, bid accordingly scores club anthony davis 840 uh joe dumars and a uh, spud webb both with pwcc stickers and by the way i spoke to the consigner of all of these 86 fleer pwcc i appeal stickers um uh, the consigner of all of those cards. He's a very good friend of mine out on the West Coast. He's a whale of a collector, an absolutely mind-boggling, astonishing collector. He's too important to watch these videos, so he's never going to know that I'm talking about him, and I would never drop his name, but he has the greatest, well, he had the greatest 1986 Fleer set on planet Earth, uh, loaded up, almost complete with PWCC stickers, PWCC I appeal stickers. So very, very special collector out there. He has multiple sets, so he's liquidating his best set. All of those uh, PWCC I appeal 86 Fleer stickers that you saw in the last weekly, those were his. All of these uh, 86 Fleer PWCC I Appeal base set, you know, 1 through 132 base set cards with I Appeal stickers are his in this auction. Uh, Manute Bowl PSA 10, 870. Blank Slate, Shea Gilgis Alexander, SGA, Giddy, um, Jalen Williams, the good Jalen Williams. Uh, Chet Holmgren looks lively and electric. If I was going to bet a team to go over under on wins and bet futures, I'm not a huge sports gambler, but I like betting futures, I'd bet on the OKC team to win. Uh, I think they're on the uptick. Their entire backcourt is on a massive uptick. SGA is now our first-team All-NBA player. Chet Holmgren looks like a potential candidate for Rookie of the Year. Wimby, look out. Scoot Henderson, look out. Chet Holmgren is coming for that award. Uh, I said Wimby was going to lead the league in blocks. Chet 
Holmgren is going to be uh, a factor in that conversation. Those two guys may go one-two in the lead in blocks. I bet you, I will bet you right now, both of those guys block more shots than Jaron Jackson Jr. does this year. That's a fact. Uh, I've got my uh, my accountant here in Baton Rouge on this card, Kurt Rambis. I'm just kidding. Uh, $900 for Rambis yamming this ball on uh, Gerald Henderson Jr.'s dad. Um, we've got a gold mosaic Steph, a Jokic SGC9, and an Anthony Davis flawless patch auto. Those three cards go uh, all for $930. Uh, two more 86 Fleer with I appeal sticker, the Ricky Green and the Marcus Johnson, 930, 930, so just under 1,000 for those two. Uh, the, the rookies in, uh, this is the uh, 2003 Bowman, uh, LeBron, uh, not the Chrome, but just the base Bowman. These were real tough to grade, man, because uh, when I pulled these, I was chasing these in packs along with the Topps Chrome, uh, but these Bowmans were especially tough to find centered because you can't hide the centering, number one. And number two, the uh, black edges really flaked really, really bad. I always was curious why. Why LeBron was wearing those ridiculous, preposterous, uh, it looks like Reebok aerobic shoes with Velcro. It's just a ridiculous picture, to be quite honest with you. Um, anyway, that is that is what it is. Uh, the Sports Car Digest Jordan. These are tough to grade. Uh, as you can see, they've made a note. There is only one of these in the world, and there are none graded higher. So this is the highest graded 1994 Sports Car Digest pocket price guide uh, Jordan card in the world. Uh, gold contenders, autograph MPJ. Where is MPJ on the radar of relevant prospects? He did what he needed to do. He was the third. He was the, the third best player on the Denver Nuggets in the playoffs. He won a title. He's got a ring at a very early age. He stayed relatively healthy recently. Interesting uh, player to collect right now. One and one timeless gold moments. Jokic with a half hook. Serial number to 10. 1,020. We got a Steph standout patch, 8.5, 1,020. A Larry Nance, which this is one of the best pictures. Look, we looked at this spud. This spud web is one of the best pictures in the set. And, of course, the Jordan 57 card is a great picture as well, but we see it all the time. Uh, but some of the other cards that are a little bit under the radar, the spud web dunk right here where he's like, 10 inches over the rim. The dude's like three feet tall. And then you've got the Larry Nance picture right here uh, where he is uh, cupping it and doing that rock the cradle reverse dunk. And of course, Larry Nance always had those great socks and tremendous thighs. Like I was always jealous. I'm a thin dude. I don't have big legs. Always jealous of guys with like thighs like that. Imagine how good I could have been if I had thighs like Larry Nance. Uh, that PSA 10 goes over 1,000. And Anthony Edwards uh, autograph serial number to 49 from Panini 1N1 one one, does 1,050. There's a run here. So I'm going to talk about this and we'll we'll keep a little trend going. I'm going to look up all of these. For those of you who aren't familiar, I've got an MJ hierarchy project that's out where we talk about some of the best Michael Jordan cards from the 80s and 90s uh, all the way up to the year 1999. One of the greatest Michael Jordan cards in the world is the Essential Credentials Now Michael Jordan because it is serial number to nine. Uh, th there's an Essential Credentials Future. There's an Essential Credentials Now. If it's green, it's the now. If it's kind of magenta and pink and red, it's the future. These are the nows. You're looking at it. You're looking at Sheed, right? You're looking at Rasheed Wallace, one of the great power forwards from the 90s, along with Antonio McDyess and uh, numerous others, Tim Duncan, of course. This is a 97. It's serial number to 56. It's uh, $1,050. We're going to look up a number of these essential credential nows, okay? So stay with me. Uh, the first one we'll look up is right here. That card last night is right here, July 16th. That's our sale, the second highest sale ever for Rasheed Wallace essential credentials now. Tuck that away and we'll keep looking at it. Tops Kobe Paper Base 10 does 1,050. This card, I am definitely sure, is right on the number. That PSA 8, Jordan's first ever refractor, 93 finest, always does right at 1,000. That card's been very steady uh, for quite a while. I'm not pulling it up on Card Ladder. You just got to trust me. The two easiest, the two cheapest stickers from the 1986 Fleer 11 sticker sticker set are these two, the Dantley and the Alex English. You can pick both of these up for right at $1,000, and that's what those two did last night. Good-looking copies there. Another Diana Taurasi, some massive Diana Taurasi collector, liquidated the black gold and then liquidated the Mike Baker uh, authentic um, white sparkle autograph one of one. So there you have it. Someone paid $1,140 for a Diana Taurasi card. Whew, deep breath. Uh, 2019 Panini Noir speaker, Sneaker Spotlight and 2020 Sneaker Spotlight. They sell for almost the same price. 
One of them is one of the 10 greatest players ever. One of them is not even really one of the 10 uh, most relevant players in the NBA at the moment. Uh, Zion Williamson, who is eating his way out of the NBA, complaining his way out of the NBA, and apparently porking his way out of uh, the NBA, or at least out of New Orleans at some point. We're a little bit tired of the Zion stories. These are not the types of stories that we expected in the great state of Louisiana when Zion decided to be a Pelican. Uh, but those cards selling for the same price is a pretty interesting. Of course, the Zion is even a lower grade, and it still matched uh, the sale price of the uh, Steph Curry. Shaq Essential Credentials now. These were 2003 Essential Credentials, so not the original, right? We looked at the original down here with the sheet. That's 1997. These are the 2003 version. These are serial number 248. Well, this one's serial number 248. 1230 for that Shaq. Big Shaq card there. Uh, the Steve Johnson. By the way, the most common name, uh, last name, <clears throat> for a player in the 86 Fleer set is Johnson. And there's like a buttload of them. There's like seven dudes named Johnson. Magic Johnson, Steve Johnson, Vinny Johnson, uh, Frank Johnson, uh, Marcus Johnson. There's a million Johnsons in there. That's what she said. 2006 Exquisite Collection Black Rainbow Ray Allen 1 of 1, 1,260 for that. That's a beautiful looking card right there. Uh, we got a Kevin McHale with his robotic extender arms. PSA 10 does 1290. A Giannis card that I've never seen. 2015 Totally Certified Auto Mirror Gold. It's an autograph. It's a Giannis. It is a 1 of 1. Uh, but it is a white box one of one. So again, go back and do your research, but still, nevertheless, a really good looking card. You can see that white box stamp right there that makes it a one of one. Uh, there's a deal with these. They're holdbacks. They're given out in redemptions. They're not pack pulled. So just Google it and figure it out. Uh, but don't treat them the same as a masterpiece one of one. It says masterpiece one of one underneath it, but I'm not going with that. PWCC probably shouldn't put that under there. 2015-16 uh, silver Jokic uh, prism Rookie card, Min Jim, BGS 9.5. I've got it right here. You remember that rule that never fails that when a player's cards, you know, a, a player's cards will run up as they approach a title, and then when they win the title, their cards come down. Curry, Mahomes, LeBron, Giannis, uh, Kawhi Leonard. It happens with every player. Jokic is having none of it. Look at his BGS 9.5. The BGS 9.5 over the last three months, right? He won a title a little over a month ago. His card's not coming down. Look where it is. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. When did he win the title? June 20th? Maybe it is coming down. Uh, it is down from the time he won the title, but this is all of the run-up to it. It's not coming down the way we've seen other players' cards come down in the past. What about the PSA 10? Looks to be holding steady to me, y'all. Uh, it looks like that you know Jokic is trying to buck this trend. What about the PSA 9? Just out of curiosity. Up. Everything's up. Okay, so Jokic is apparently the only one who can win a title and his cards keep going up. Maybe he was too undervalued to begin with. I don't know. You guys can conjecture and let me know in the comments what you think about that. This is a cool Kobe card where he's kind of looking at you lovingly, gazing into your eyes. All of you Kobe collectors, you guys are very passionate about collecting Kobe, and I understand he was almost Jordan, but he wasn't quite there. This is a good-looking Kobe autograph card. I've never seen it. 2001 Upper Deck MVP. Slabbed Authentic with an 8 for the auto. It does 1,380. It's serial number to 100, by the way. Uh, Nike promo 8.5. No subs on the front. Are there subs on the back? Shame on you. Whoever did that, that is just a bad decision. You're throwing money away. Autograph Doncic impeccable. Uh, serial number to 10 does 1470. Let's look up the Rodman. We never look up Rodman's. Rodman's in our top 100 about a third of the way through. This is his only rookie card. 88 Fleer Rodman number 43. I've got it pulled up. It's right on the number. Uh, look at that. 0, 0.00 rate of growth over the last six months. It's only 238 of them. I opened a box of this on my channel and you guys laughed at me because I got my ass handed to me. I got kicked in the nether region as I like to say. Look at the gem rate with PSA for these Rodman's 2.43%, 9,781 graded, 238 PSA 10s, uh, 1530, not a bad price. Uh, keeping it moving, uh, Mark Aguirre, always spell Aguirre with two R's, not two G's, just something to remember if you're searching. Uh, Mark Aguirre was a great player uh, back in the uh, late 80s and um, very well, mostly in the 80s. 1590 for those Mavericks teams. Of course, he was with Roe Blackman and Derek Harper and, uh, and a young Detlef Shrimp before he went to the Sonics and became a phenom. Uh, 2017 National Treasures, Clutch Factor, De'Aaron Fox does 1710. Bill Russell, Autograph does 1710. Uh, let's look up the next one. This is Mitch Richmond, another 
another uh, great player from the 90s, underappreciated, much like Rasheed Wallace. Uh, not quite as vocal and, uh, and tempestuous as Rasheed Wallace, but this Mitch Richmond, who was uh, probably one of the three or four best shooting guards in the NBA, Michael Jordan, Clyde Drexler, Reggie Miller, Mitch Richmond. Uh, Mitch Richmond just toiled in obscurity in Sacramento because during his days in Sacramento, they weren't truly really a threat in the West. This one's serial number to 60. It's a PSA 9, which is super high grade, 1740. We've got him pulled up. Uh, second highest sale ever for this particular card in any grade. And uh, there you go. So two great results for the seller of those essential credential. Now, what about the Scotty Pippen? I think I looked him up. Yeah, I did. Pippen's coming down. He should have kept his mouth shut. Don't talk about Jordan. Don't talk about the last dance. Don't complain about the Bulls. Don't release a book. Don't say stupid shit about LeBron and Jordan. Just keep your mouth shut and your cards probably wouldn't go down. But Scotty's got a big mouth. Great player. Big mouth. Cards are down 31%. About the same pop as Rodman. A Scotty Pippen card is only worth $200 more than Dennis Rodman. So, um, again... I think Rodman's beloved. I think people are starting to sour on Pippen. Maybe I'm just speaking from the perspective of the Jordan collector. By the way, I collect Jordan. Did you? Did I mention that? Uh, Jordan Star, uh, PSA 4, 1770 for this one. Tough grade. Wow, rough there, PSA. Kobe Golden Vintage, autograph serial number to 79. This is from Opulence, one of those products that just never could get off the ground. 1830, another one that didn't really get off the ground. Innovation, die cut, top-notch autographs, 1950. Kobe, Kobe, Kobe on this row. An NBA Kobe Atomic Refractor, Bowman's Best, rookie, 1950. Uh, by the way, keep your eyes peeled. There is a Bowman's Best atomic uh, refractor coming up that will absolutely blow your mind uh, when we get to the end. You need to watch till the end. I think there's three Ewing stickers in here. Here's two of them. 2160, 2190. A James Worthy rookie card from 1986 Fleer. PSA 10 does 2220. Uh, a LeBron autograph. Who is that guarding him? A white guy for the Lakers around 2004. God, I feel like I should know this. It's, I don't know who that is. It's not Walton. Right, let's let's look a little closer. Is it Walton? That might be Walton. It didn't look like Walton at first. Is that Walton? Let me know in the comments. You guys know how I like to do it and pick people out of the background. Lamelo Mall downtown uh, with a bunch of bees in the background. Uh, I guess because of the Hornets. Uh, those are probably Hornets. That would make more sense. They're not bees. They're Hornets. 2520 for this. It's a pop five. Good looking card. Great color match. Pretty cool card. I like the downtowns. It's starting to grow on me. More so than the Kabooms. If you got me choosing between blank slates, uh, downtowns, and Kabooms, I choose not the Kabooms. Uh, another essential credentials now. This is Glenn Big Dog Robinson, Purdue's finest national player of the year, monster player, uh, number to 24, so more rare. Remember, the serial numbers on essential credentials now and future fluctuate. They're on a full chrome and they add up to 81. I believe that's right. 74. 83, 81, I don't know, I should know this. I just did a video on this and I don't know it. 2,520, that's a pop one by the way. Let's see if we can find that one. There it is, 2520, highest sale ever paid. And it's not really close. 5X, the highest sale ever paid for a Glenn Robinson Essential Credentials, um, Essential Credentials Now. Serial number two, 24, I'm confused why this, oh it's 98, that's why. Yeah, this is 97, okay. Uh, moving along. There's the other Ewing sticker, and if you don't think that the PWCC sticker, I appeal sticker, yields a premium, I'm going to give you numerous examples of why it does. So first of all, there's two Ewing PSA 10s that sold for $21.90 and $21.60. This one sells for about $500 more, $400, $500 more, PSA 10, because it's got the IPL sticker. So that's part, that's that's stage one of PWCC IPL stickers, matter, like it or not. Uh, the orange Halliburton, horrible color clash here. You hear about color match, this is not it. This is color clash. Orange and purple, not good. No sports team in the history of mankind, as far as I know, has ever said, you know what, our colors are going to be orange and purple. Uh, 262, card number 262. The oranges, of course, are always numbered to 49 in uh, Prism. 2760 for that Tyrese Halliburton. Let's see if the Pacers can get their wheels gaining some traction and move forward. Autograph Revolutions. Of course, these were on card from 2019, I believe. Uh, PSA 10, Pop 10, 2760 for that really good looking Kobe autograph. This is cool because this is the Redemption um, Top's Finest Refractor Redemption card graded. So uh, you could send this in for a 2002 Finest LeBron uh, James Refractor pre-rookie card, but this is the actual 
Redemption card itself graded 2760 for that one. Uh, we've got another uh, opulence serial number to 99 Doncic. This is his rookie autograph 9.5 3120. It's a pop one. Those cards are tough to grade. I, I will say that those cards are very tough to grade. And then our last, I think it's our last essential credentials. Though, stay with me here. This does not make any sense. So this is the Tracy McGrady. Uh, he is numbered to 79. So his future would be a very, very, very low number. But this is his essential credentials now. It's serial number to 79. His 97 red PMG is serial number to 100, but we know there's 90, right? Because 10 of them are green, the other 90 are red. So his red PMG uh, is a higher serial number. It is not as rare as this essential credentials now that you're looking at on your screen. But I want to compare the prices of the two cards to tell you congratulations to whoever bought this card. Tracy McGrady is a historic player in the NBA, a two-time scoring champ. Injuries derailed his career a little prematurely, but he's got a lot of swag. He's got a lot of off the court. He's still relatively relevant in the media, and he was an absolute one of the greatest scoring wings in the history of the NBA. 3120 for, like I said, PSA 9 is a huge grade for the essential credentials. Now, watch this. I am going to pull up this card. Uh, 5520 is the highest price ever paid for this card, and it was for a 9.5. This one last night does. 3120. Okay, wait, where am I? 3120. So we're scrolling way down here. So number one, good price. You picked the card up for a good price buyer last night. So very well done. The seller, it's the highest price ever paid for a PSA 9. Also well done. Uh, but what I wanted to show you was this is a PSA 9 essential credentials now, number to 79. Look at the sales prices for the 90 copies of the PMG Red. Anybody who wants to compare Essential Credentials Now or Essential Credentials Future to PMGs, to just stop because this is a great uh, this is great evidence that there is no comparison. These are look at the last. This is sorted by date sold: fifteen grand, eighteen grand, thirteen grand, thirteen grand uh, since two thousand twenty one. Uh, the essential credentials now the highest PSA nine ever sold last night thirty one twenty. And by the way, these are PSA six, PSA five, uh, PSA five, and PSA six. Okay, so that should let the world know PMGs. Essential Credentials Future and Now, not in the same conversation. Uh, right next to that, we've got, a, and I know, I again, Jordan's a little tricky, right? Let's go back to the Jordan thing. Jordan's a little bit tricky because he's serial number two nine. And so that is a very different animal than a serial number two 79. So the Jordan has an asterisk on him, uh, as does the Grant Hill, because I think that's serial number to one. Uh, Rolando Blackman, Ro Blackman, one of the very lowest pop, one of the five lowest pop cards, I believe, in the 86 Fleer set in PSA 10, 3120. That's why I went for 3120. Uh, Roe has like a, almost a little bit of a Dylan Brooks hairline there. I just noticed. Bob Weiss, you haunt my dreams. I don't know how many times I can tell you stop appearing. Uh, I don't know if someone is flipping Bob Weiss cards, but I feel like I'm seeing him in his leisure suit way too often. Uh, I'm talking about Bob Weiss too long already. Bob, go away. I'm having nightmares. Uh, like I, I go into my kid's room. I've got to talk them down, pat them down when they have nightmares. My wife does that to me because I'll wake up dreaming about freaking Bob Weiss and this creepy ass picture of him in his you know leisure suit, which wasn't even really popular until the 70s, I don't think. 3120 for that Bob Weiss PSA 9. Vintage uh, finally making an appearance in the uh, in the weekly number 78. Carmelo Anthony, limited logos, rookie year, greatest product uh, of the ultra modern era and, or the modern era in my opinion. 3240 for this one. Uh, the Jordan Hot Shots PSA 9, old PSA label, typewriter city right there. 3360 for this PSA 9 Hot Shots. Watch this. We're going to talk, talk about a tale of a few different Jordan inserts, right? You're not going to be able to come to a conclusion of Jordan inserts are going down, which is what you see on your screen, or Jordan inserts are going up, just wait until what you see. There's mixed reviews, right? We see this often, but I'm starting to see more Jordan inserts ticking up than I am seeing Jordan inserts from the 90s ticking down. This is one of the downs. I always told you we're going to be transparent. I'm not picking and choosing whether to show you the, only the good stuff or only the bad stuff. I'm not one of those clickbait people. I'm sharing everything with you. Sometimes I show you cards that don't do anything like the Rodman we just looked at down 42 percent just over the last year vicious vicious uh, of course PSA 10 you're looking at a very 
rare card. It's a $15,000 card. It's a pop 20. PSA 9 is the next best thing. 3360 last night. Let me know your thoughts on that card going down. The Jordan 88 Fleer, that's a really old PSA label. Uh, 3360 The Julius Irving sticker, 3360 Moving along to the uh, Doncic Fast Break Blue from 2018 Optic. That's a beautiful color match card if you're into the disco bubbles. It's only serial numbered to 50. 3840 Another SGA. So another SGA card. This is his 2018 National Treasures Horizontal Patch Auto. Not his true auto per se, but it's serial number to 49 and it's slabbed authentic, but a 10 for the autograph. Thank goodness. These cards are just so hard to grade, man. These thick National Treasures cards are just really tough to grade. 3960 The Bird PSA 10 does 3960 as well. The Jordan Floor card. I don't know a lot about this card. It seems really important. It sold for 4000 and it's a pop one with none higher. The 2000 so post playing years, well, in between playing years, we'll call it, right? Post Bulls playing years. 2000 Upper Deck Century Legends MJ Final Floor uh, Auto. It's a uh, PSA 8 Auto 9. Did I read that right? Uh, right next to it, another card I do not recognize at all. Let me click on this because I don't really understand this. What are we looking at here? 1997 SP Authentic Sign of the Times Stars and Rookies Jordan. I'm looking around. There's no, I, I don't know anything about this card. When I don't know something, I just tell you I don't know it. I'm trying to figure it out with you right now. Congratulations, a reservation for one. Okay, so it's a redemption card that somebody kept. It's a trade card. It says trade card, but, but I think they mean redemption. That's what it looks like to me. Uh, Pop 5, none higher bgs9 four thousand bucks for that redemption card dominique wilkins sticker one of the tougher stickers four thousand eighty of course the jordan and the kareem being the two highest 97 golden touch we talk about the 97 versus the 98 this is the 97 golden touch again that ball in the background flaking is one of the biggest issues this ball right behind jordan's left butt cheek is the uh is the big issue where that'll kind of flake away and that's causes some damage psa 9 is a good grade for this card real good grade for this card do i have it yeah i do uh there's the psa 9 on the way up so up 20% over the last year. Same grade as the Hot Shots. Uh, super rare card. Actually, significantly more rare in PSA 9. Pop 26, right? Just more rare generally. Just a tougher card. Uh, but probably not the same demand for the Golden Touch as there is for that die cut flame Hot Shots. Uh, but the PSA 9 is up 20% uh, over the last year, which is an aggregate of a $689 real change start to finish. So good results there for that Golden Touch. We've got a Kareem base with the PWCC Eye Appeal sticker. 4440 for a Kareem 43rd year card right 86 Kareem had been playing for like three decades by then right 69 tall boy rookie uh that's 20 it's 28th year right it's 28th year in the league or something like that 18th year in the league sorry did I say 28th Jesus he was old but he wasn't that old uh Kareem's 18th year in the league, sorry. Uh, PSA 10, 4,440 for that one. The LeBron Finite, we see this card often. BGS 9, 10 for the auto, 4560. The Kobe Base Tops Chrome, PSA 10, 4920. The Kevin Durant Refractor, uh, PSA 10. Can't remember if I looked it up. I did. Kevin Durant not trending in the right direction. A lot of people are hyped about this Phoenix situation. They just let Cameron Payne go um, for some draft picks. So Cameron Payne was the only point guard on the roster, to the best of my knowledge. I think the plan is to have like Durant, Beal, and Booker rotate the point guard position. I don't know, man. I don't know about this. I love the big four. I love that they picked up Bull Bull on a very affordable contract. I don't know what the Magic were doing dropping Bull Bull. I know he's the butt of everybody's joke, but that didn't make any sense. But that Durant card's in trouble and trending in the wrong direction. Remember, it's serial number to 1499. Not going to talk about him. Uh, Zion Williamson, Panini, one and one gold, serial number to 10. It's one out of 10. Math nerds rejoice. 7,500 for that one. Another Kobe Atomic Refractor. This one's in a PSA 10 slab, so a little different story from the NBA one that we saw earlier. This is not a rookie. It's a 98, but it's cool because it's like the cracked ice Atomic Refractor. Uh, pop 10. These Atomic Refractors from Bowman's Best are serial number to only 100. 7,500 for that card. Pop one out of 10. Uh, and then here's a card. I'm going to give you some good news. These cards, the Kobe and the LeBron from 2008 Topps Chrome, the X-Fractors, the Blacks, the Oranges, the Refractors, uh, all that stuff. That stuff was crashing over the last year, two years. The X-Fractor is serial number to 288, okay? Uh, and this is Kobe's card, but of course it's got LeBron James on it, so anytime you can, you're going to list that name as well. I know I've got it pulled up. There it is. It's actually up 5% over the last year, so it looks like it's found its home. You don't believe me that the card is on a downward trend before this last year look at this 
Holy crap. How about this? We just go to two years, right? So one year you're like, damn, this card's doing pretty well. It's actually up 5% and this is the third consecutive upward sale. And then you look at the year before that and you're like, oh, my bad. The card was worth $27,000 and now it's worth like less than one third of what it was worth. So uh, good news and bad news. The good news is it looks like we floored and we're starting to bounce a little bit over the last year. The bad news was it was worth a billion dollars two years ago. Another signature edition, LeBron. We see this card often, the BGS 9.5. 10 for the autograph, uh, mixed gem with a 10 for centering, 9 for corners, $9,000 for this LeBron rookie. I feel like nobody is talking about collecting LeBron James cards right now. No offense to my good friend Josh Johnson, Cardboard Chronicles of Card Ladder fame uh, and the crossover. Uh, I know he's loving it, right? He in He's not the only one. Many savvy people out there are snatching LeBron cards right now. He probably hates me for even saying to, you should even consider looking at LeBron cards because he wants to buy, 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 buy. He loves it when prices go down because he gets to buy more cards. And I share his sentiment only with the great Michael Jeffrey Jordan. 86 Fleer Barkley, the S sticker. Okay, so this was uh, Exhibit 1B. We talked about the one earlier uh, sticker with the Ewing, the Ewing sticker with the PWCC I appeal sticker and how it sold for four or five hundred dollars more. Wait until you see what this Barkley did because of this PWCC 5% superior I appeal sticker. Okay, let's look at the card. Perfection. Beautiful, beautiful card. Eleven thousand four hundred dollars for a Charles Barkley rookie. Okay, are you ready for this? Where is it? There it is. How about that chart? Uh, you are talking about uh, the highest sale price out of maybe what, the last 50 that sold? If you look at the last one year, uh, it blows it out of the water. The card was selling for 7,000 a year ago. It dipped all the way. And I think the sale before this was one of the lowest ever at about 5,400, maybe got the 5,300. It jumped all the way up to 11400 Guys, that is more than double the last sale price. So if you don't think the PWCC sticker matters, it matters. Uh, I did a nice little video explaining those stickers and what they mean and how they calculate them and how to find them and all that different stuff. Which cards are eligible, all that stuff. Uh, I get a bazillion messages because I used to be the guy that collected 86 Fleer and 86 Fleer stats, and I still I still have four Jordans. I have the 10 sticker, the 10 base, the 8 sticker, the 8 base. That's all I have, okay? Uh, but I get messages all the time, and that's great. I'm fine. I'm always open. I love getting messages on Instagram and on comments on YouTube. Everybody's like, what's it? what do you think a PSA 8 set's worth? I'm like, guys, look it up. Get on Card Ladder. Get on your data pricing tool and look it up. Here's a great comp. This is the entire set. All 143. It's not a set unless it's 143. I don't care what anybody says. 132 is not a set. 11, I guess you could say, is a sticker set. But the set is 143 out of 143, including the 11 stickers. 12,600 for this in PSA 8. So there's your answer. Had it been around 15, this seems low to me. I thought it was around 15. 12.6 is not a great result, but that's what the set's at right now. Part of the reason, uh, you know, the Johnny Moore is coming down. The Johnny Moore PSA 10, I've got a horrible, sad story for you. In fact, I don't need to even tell the story. I'm just going to show you a graphic. Uh, am I? Yeah, there you go. That's the Johnny Moore over the last six months. And just when you think it can't get any worse, there's the Johnny Moore over the last two years. Yeah. This was a $90,000 card. It's a Pop 67. About a third of the cards have been released in the last 24 months. There's 24 months in two years, even in Louisiana. 21 sales in 24 months. We're seeing a Johnny Moore card almost every single month in PSA 10. That's a problem. And it's a part of the reason that if I scroll up, look who's now outselling the Johnny Moore. It's crazy, right? 13,200. When I liquidated my PSA 10 set, my Jeff Malone uh, sold for significantly, I mean magnitudes less than the Johnny Moore. And now the Jeff Malone's selling for more than the Johnny Moore. Again, the PWCC ticker is a big part of that. Uh, but we're not gonna skip ahead. Got a LeBron Chrome Refractor 9.5. This is a mixed gem with a nine for centering. Sadly, that's the worst one to have the nine in, 16,200. Uh, and this is where we start looking at records. Okay, so the 97 Skybox Z Force Rave. I'm a proud owner of this card. It's number to 399. I'm a proud owner of this card in a BGS 9.5 slab. Um, and it's a Pop 7 in PSA 10. We've got it pulled up somewhere up yonder. 
Uh, there it is. I didn't want to look it up in card ladder because I wanted to look at all grades ever. The history, this is the highest this card has ever sold for in the history of the world. The highest Jordan 97 rave card number 23. There's another rave in there. It's the uh, 190 Superman, but this is the rave number 23, the base rave, and it sold for $17,400. That's buku money, man. That's big money in the Jordan market. Um, and uh, a very impressive sale, uh, $17,400. The highest before that was $13,200. If we sort it by date sold, um, something's wrong here. Uh, the PSA 9, yeah, oh, sorry, I meant to put in PSA 10 and then sort by date sold. There's PSA 10, date sold. Wow. Oh, that's the Superman. Sorry, let's put in 23. Let's do this together. Yeah, the last one before that was 13200 It would have been nice to pick up a PSA 10 copy in 2017 for 700 bucks. Is that fair? Is that fair? Can I speak for everybody on that one? Now it's worth 17000 So from 700 to 17000 Holy moly. Uh, the Jeff Malone does 18600 I don't know if I looked that one up. I don't think I did. The next one we look up is another absolute monster. The Kobe EX2000. This is his base. Everybody remembers the star date and the story about that card going ballistic and then coming back to Earth. No pun intended. Star date, Earth. Uh, 20,400 for this Kobe PSA 10. Beautiful, beautiful base cards. The Jordan is like an amber with that same blue background and the pain in the back. Uh, this is just a beautiful, you know what? I'm going to go buy a box of this crap because it's just so cool to open. I would love to open it even just to look at the base cards. I think I'm going to get a box and open it on the channel. I'm set a note to remind myself. 20,400 for the perfect Kobe, uh, you know, EX2000 base rookie. We've got a Steph Curry upper deck exquisite collection. I think there's a couple variations. They're all numbered as 225. This is a PSA 10, no grade for the auto. 22,800 for that Steph Curry in his Davidson uniform. And then we've got two Jordans that just did just crazy numbers. I don't know what else to say. We saw it happen in Golden last week, ended on Friday. We were skeptical. Are they real? We're seeing more of the same stuff on PWCC. Uh, I, I, like I said, I alluded to this at the beginning, at the intro. I um, am aware of, I'm going to make sure I have this, I don't want to overspeak, but I have got information that the buyer of these two cards is a paying buyer and these two cards are going to get paid. I am not conclusively confirming that, but I did uh, get wind of that information in a group chat today on Instagram. I'll just leave it at that. The 96 Z Force Slam Cam, uh, PSA 10 Jordan, sold for $22,800. I've got it. There's your graph. There's your all-time graph. I don't know how best to describe what happened last night. That's 2x, more than 2x. More than 2x. 21.6 would have been 2x. 22.8 is more than 2x. The card's up 6,300% all-time. Let's see what it's up over the last, just from the last sale, up 111.11%. 111.11%. That's a huge sale. You're talking about a Pop 17 card. It's a great card. No doubt about it. But this is not a Tier 1 Jordan card, people. It's not a tier one Jordan card. Uh, there's 57 9.5s. Here's the deal. If you're the owner of a 9.5, you're probably one of the 57 happiest people in the world because your card that was worth 2700 uh, before last night, I have a feeling it's going to sell for more than that the next time it sells if this is a legitimate, true indication of where this card's going. Again, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just passing along information. But uh, 2700 times what? 10? Not 8? Eight times 2,700 is what, 5,600 plus, it's 8X. The, the PSA 10 is now 8X what the last 9.5 is, so uh, just something to consider. And then, just when you thought it couldn't get any crazier, we've got a 96 Bowman's Best Base Atomic Refractor. Uh, this is card number 80 in the set, so his base card, but the Atomic Refractor Parallel. Pop 15 in PSA 10, uh, another great image of Jordan right there. Both of these images of Jordan are fantastic with him dunking the ball. $24,600. The graph looks very similar to the one we just looked at. Up 11,000% all time. That's not real helpful. Over the last year, the card's up 75%. It's up $10,000 real value. The card last sold, this is four months ago, people, exactly to the day, uh, well, one day shy of being exactly four months ago, $14,000. $24,600 today. That's your card. That's the winner. Jordan, Jordan Curry, Kobe, Jeff Malone, 
uh, Jordan, LeBron, Johnny Moore. That is your top 10, top 8, top 9, something like that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. The story of this is we saw some really cool 86 Fleer with PWCC stickers do very, very well. Uh, we saw the meaning of PWCC Eye Appeal stickers. We saw a mixed bag of Jordan inserts, but again, it's, I don't think I'm just being subjective here. The overwhelming indication over the last two weeks is that something is brewing with 90s Jordan inserts, specifically in high grades and you know what they say rising tides lift all boats if the high grade cards run we've seen this before how many times do we have to see it in the hobby when the high grade jordans run the five figure cards the atomic refractor psa 10s for 20 uh the you know uh, the slam cams for 22,800. when the psa 10s run what's next the pgs 9.5s the psa 9s the psa 8 it's a trickle down effect rising tides lift all boats that's what they say uh, let's see, two weeks of uh, a noticeable uh, wave of Jordan 90 stuff rising is not a large enough sample size. I want more time. I want to keep eyes on it. Let me know what you think's brewing in the comments below. The Nationals coming up. Uh, we might have seen the floor. Um, you know, there's a lot of basketball seasons coming back around. We're in summer league. We just saw the draft. There's a little more talk. What's going on? Is something going on or am I just, is this pure conjecture? Let me know what you think. We want to know what you think. The channel is an open forum for you guys to discuss that in the comments. Remember, if you like these PWCC weekly auctions, consider buying and selling on PWCC. If you use my promo code Cajun when you sell, it supports the channel and I get a little piece of PWCC's money. I don't get any of your money. If you buy or if you vault cards with PWCC, please support the channel go into my YouTube description there's a link in the top right all you got to do is click it It says PWCC click the link when it pulls up in your browser hit the star button that is now your new link to PWCC so if you're ever gonna buy on PWCC fixed price marketplace weekly auction premier auction upcoming daily auctions are coming stay tuned they're coming trust me it's coming auctions are going to be ending on monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday and i'm going to have to change the format of these e auction recaps those times are coming but if you're going to buy cards on pwcc consider using my affiliate link it's real easy you click it you save it as favorites and then use that favorites link every time you go in and now you're supporting the cajun cardboard channel and i can't tell you how much i love you and i appreciate you doing that because i've got huge Huge things planned. I'm in the middle of the Michael Jordan hierarchy project, which has uh, had an uproariously positive, and I was worried a little bit, honestly, uh, because when anybody kind of puts themselves out there, a lot of people tend to poop on the people or crap on the people in the hobby if they don't get every single thing right. And I've tried to explain I'm not infallible, but I think this Jordan hierarchy project is going to be a nice baseline and foundation for people uh, to start collecting Jordan cards who have never collected them before. It's going to eliminate some of that fear and trepidation. People are going to dip their toes in the water and say, oh, look, I got a kind of a little bit of a guideline. It's not an answer key, but it's kind of a little guideline project foundation and I can work my way up the hierarchy pyramid, right? Over 300 cards, uh, over 13 pictures of 27 cards and uh, Josh Dawson at Northeast Sports Cards and I are going to talk about every one. Nat Turner joined the channel. If you haven't seen that yet, go look in the playlist. Michael Jordan, Cajun Cardboards, Michael Jordan Hierarchy. Chris McGill joined the channel. Josh Dawson joined the channel. So it's not just me and my big mouth talking about the very little bit that I know about Jordan cards. It's some of the biggest and the best and the baddest collectors in the world and some of the most knowledgeable people in the world coming on the channel because I want you guys to hear from them, not from me. Uh, I am just a platform for these guys to talk about their experience, their collections, and things like that and give you their thoughts you hear my thoughts all the time so uh ways to support the channel obviously i keep getting uh a, honestly i'm getting daily contributions the easy way which is just clicking the paypal link it's on my page in my youtube channel go to the channel in the top right click the paypal button give what you can to support the channel if you think my channel is uh, every video is worth a dollar send me a dollar for every video it's 30 that's 30 dollars a month by the way uh because i'm doing about 30 videos a month if you think it's worth $3 a month, pay me $3 a month. I'm trying not to put ads in the middle of your videos through YouTube. I'm not monetizing with those guys because I don't want to do that. I don't want to deal with the copyright stuff. I am also uh, not creating a subscription fee. I don't want to charge any people for any of my content. I'm having too much fun. I hope it's helping the hobby. I hope it's educating and entertaining for you guys to watch. So I don't want to get on Patreon or charge a subscription fee. So I'm trying the PayPal link and the affiliate links with PWCC as a way to sort of fund my project. I'm going to put out these MJ hierarchy projects on poster board. It's going to be about 2,000, 2,500 bucks, something like that, depending on how many I want to print. I've got a lot of requests already. Hey, can you send me one? Can you send me one? 
Guys, it doesn't exist yet. Gals, it doesn't exist yet. I promise you in August, we're going to put pen to paper, uh, but it would be nice to build up a little nest egg of contributions for those of you who do want that MJ Hierarchy Project poster board. By the way, on the back of the poster board, it's going to have the largest Michael Jordan pack odds list in the history of the world. Uh, and it is uh, going to be produced by a Cajun hand raised. It's going to be uh, as accurate as I could get it. It may not be exactly perfect, but it's going to be pretty damn accurate and uh, pretty helpful for anybody looking to collect Jordan cards. Anyway, enough rambling. Hope you guys have a great week. It's a Monday. Uh, have a great week. We are now eight, nine days away from the national. I'm going straight to vacation, then coming back, then going straight to the national. So I am going to pre-produce some videos. You will get content. We do have some MJ hierarchy videos coming. I will have a mail day coming. So you guys are still going to get stuff from me, even while I'm at the national. And then of course, when I get back, you're going to get some awesome stuff from the national. I'm going to have Buku stories. I'm probably just going to hit record and start talking. And it's going to be like a three hour video about my experience at the national. I did it last year with Atlantic city. This one's going to be bigger and better. Uh, I'm not a rich dude who can go up there with a camera crew around and follow me around and watch me do deals. And I don't really think the people who watch this channel are looking for that type of content. Maybe you are, I don't know, but that's not really my style. When I'm doing deals, I'm doing deals. I'm not real concerned about showing the camera crap or trying to talk for the camera or pretend to do this or that. I'm just talking to people and trying to get deals done because I'm trying to grow my collection just like you guys are. Uh, so, But there will be content from the National, yes. It just won't be the the silly, uh, you know, scripted, BS, you know, me giving a kid a Cajun cardboard t-shirt and then giving him a hug type crap. Although that might happen, you're not going to get it on camera unless somebody else is filming it. Uh, anyway, long story short, uh, thank you guys for watching. Keep collecting, stay positive in the hobby. Have a great week and peace.